Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you guys are good. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Open Audible. This is the app that we're going to download that's going to actually convert the audio books to MP3. So just go ahead and choose your operating system if you have Mac or Windows or Linux. I have Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows one. It's just going to take a few seconds to download. So I'm just going to click Open When Done. Now this is gonna give a kind of a weird pop-up. It's kind of scary. That's why I, I did this on my other computer before I uploaded this to make sure it was completely fine. So I'm just gonna click run anyways, and I'm actually gonna run Malwarebytes to show you that this is completely safe. And I don't know why they have this uh, pop-up there. It's not a virus or anything. So after this is done downloading, just go ahead and install it. Just takes a few seconds to download. Now go ahead and click next. Decide where you want the program to be installed. I'm just gonna click the default, so I'm just gonna click next. And you can decide whether you want a start menu folder and a desktop icon, so I'm just gonna click next. Now this is gonna install the program. So once this is done, I'm just gonna click finish. This is gonna open the program. Now here's the program that's gonna be able to convert our audiobooks into MP3. It's a really great program. I've converted an audiobook as you already can see. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it. So just as an extra measure, because I know people are weirded out by downloading stuff off the internet as I am as well, I would never wanna upload anything to my channel that could hurt anybody else's computer or my computer. That would just be dumb for my channel and it would only hurt me in the long run. So running malware bytes. I sped it up a lot so you didn't have to sit through it. No threats are detected, completely safe. Believe me, I was weirded out when I first downloaded this, but it's completely safe. So moving on, um, I'm gonna go into Audible where you should have your audiobooks. Now just log into your Audible. I'm using my wife, so that's why it says Anna. Um, go into your library. Now you should see a download button on all of your different books. Now I have downloaded these before, that's why there's a check mark, but I'm just gonna go ahead and download it again just to show you the whole entire process. Now as you can see, there's no program that's automatically downloading the audiobooks, so we're gonna go ahead and download Audible Manager. This is gonna be a program that automatically will download those download links when you click them. So just go ahead and search for it. I'll put the link in the description as well. But I'm just going to click on this link right here, go to download now. And I'm going to go to Softpedia Secure Download. Now it's going to start downloading it automatically. I'm just going to click it to open it and go ahead and click I, I accept. You can choose the file location. I'm just gonna click okay. And check this off because it's automatically gonna install Windows Media Player automatically and I do not want that so I unchecked it. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. I do not need this so I'm gonna click no. Now we're gonna go back to Audible and we're gonna click download and this time you're gonna see that it works. So I'm just gonna speed this up real quick because it takes a couple minutes to download and I don't want you guys to wait through that. Now once this is download, I'm just gonna go ahead and click find to find the actual download. Now as you can see, it's just this weird file. It's a .aax file, but what we're gonna do we're going to drag this file over to the program and it's as easy as that. It's going to import it really fast. We're going to right click it and there you have the option to convert to mp3 and that's really all you have to do. I sped this up so it really takes about like I'd say 15 minutes maybe max to convert it to mp3. But as you can see once it's finished it's going to say mp3 is on the disk. 
So I'm gonna right click and say show mp3. It's gonna open the file where your mp3 is and that's it. That's all you have to do. Your full audible audiobook is now gonna be an mp3. You can put it on your phone. You can put it on your mp3 player. You can do whatever you want with it. Now it's not gonna be some weird file and I'm just gonna right click it and show you that it's an mp3 file down here. Just go under details and scroll down. Boom, right there. Thank you guys so much for watching.